Hi, everybody. Jake Slobodnik for your hometown radio stations and Renda Digital TV here with our preview of the United Valley Lions and their second season as a combined effort between United and Blacklick Valley. And we're joined by four of their players here. And our preview of the United Valley Lions brought to you by Luther Ford in Homer City. Proud to bring you the Luther Ford Coaches Corner every Saturday from 8 to 10 a.m. on WDAD and WDADradio.com. Since 1969, Coaches Corner presented by Luther Ford in Homer City. And standing to my right, wide receiver, defensive back, Braden Brown. He's from the Blacklick uh, Valley sort of things. Uh, you were here last year when the merger first started so before we talk about the season at all give me uh, your thoughts about uh, how you think last year's merger in this first season went. I think it went well I mean for us not really knowing much about each other and coming together as a team I think we did pretty good especially our last four games we ended on a three game win streak won three out of four so I say we did pretty well. Yeah, that's one thing I wanted to get to you guys about. Four and six last year, but while records can be deceiving, you guys are really strong. As you said, you ended the year on a three-game winning streak. That's hard to do, uh, no matter who you may be. Uh, sort of talk about how that really allowed you guys, or built a really good platform for you guys coming into this year. Um, I think it's gonna. It should give us a hot. It should give us a hot streak this year, especially ending on that three-game win streak. Knowing that like we're able to do it now, kind of like gives everyone a little bit more confidence and just to let them do their thing. So tell me a, bit, a little bit about the team, and I'll get uh, each opinions from some of your teammates here, but give me your opinion on uh, how the roster and how things really shake up for you guys this year. Um, our roster is actually looking pretty nice. We're, we have pretty much everyone returning. We only lost two two starting seniors, so we should be we should be heat senior heavy this year, a lot of experience, and everyone should be able to just play fast this year. You're part of the uh, receiver court. Tell me a little bit about some of the names we're going to see uh, joining you as part of wide receivers this year. Um, it'll be me, Dino DiPaolo to my right, and I mean, as of right now, probably Ethan Luco. We did just have one of our receivers quit, and then we also have one on injury. He broke his leg in one of our seven-on-sevens. All right, Braden, thanks so much. Great talking to you. Thank you. All right, now we're going to uh, speak to Isaac Worthington, leader out on the field. He's the quarterback for the United Valley Lions. Uh, Isaac, you were under center for the first year of this United Valley merger. Talk to me a little bit about how that sort of went from your personal perspective. Um, I think last year it was a little rough because, you know, I didn't know anybody, didn't know what people can do. But now that we have a year down, it's it's a lot easier. I know people got their speeds down on routes. I know what, know what to expect from them. How did Coach Marabito and his staff sort of help make the transition a little bit easier for you guys? Um, they made it easier by having us. We had, like, get-togethers and stuff with the team, you know, like dinners and stuff. So it was easier to get to know people. Again, you end the year on a three-game winning streak. That's got to feel good, especially knowing the the youth that you guys have. As uh, Braden said, only two senior uh, two seniors, starting seniors, gone. Um, that's got to set a nice platform for this year. Oh, yeah, it helps a lot because pretty much the entire team's back from last year, so everyone's just building on from what what we already did last year, and everyone already knows what's going on with the offense and defense. What were some of your takeaways personally from last season? Uh, I think it was a good season considering we only had like I think one win combined before that finished it strong three wins straight all right and uh, give me the overall landscape of the offense who are some of the guys that are going to be around you who are going to be some of your main targets some guys behind you in the backfield talk to me about some of those names um, running backs could be it was like Cade McCauley Alex Reba Colin Nedrich wide receivers Gino Braden Ethan Luca. And, uh, I mean, last year it seemed like your offensive line really helped provide a wall for you to sort of get open in the backfield, scramble a little bit if you need to. It seemed like they did a really good job. Uh, talk to me how about or how their contributions really helped you last year. Well, it helped me a lot because they gave me, you know, time to, like, read the field better. They, they provided holes to run through. It was a lot easier. And, uh, well, thank you, Isaac. I appreciate you taking some time. We'll uh, get over to Gina there. Yep, thank you. All right, Gino DiPaolo, one of the wide receivers and defensive backs for United Valley. Gino, first thing I'm going to ask you, defensive backs, uh, you need a lot of them in, in the game of football. Um, talk to me about how you grew over the course of last year in that role uh, as a defensive back. Uh, starting out the season, I really didn't play DB or defense much, and towards the end I started playing, and it's gotten a lot easier. We've been doing a lot to work on, like opening up and stuff and getting on routes better. You originally played for Blacklick Valley, is that correct? Yeah. Talk to me about your personal perspective about how the merger went together. I mean, you come into United, um, and you had to play on their field under their you know, pretty combined coaches, but uh, Coach Marabito was from United originally. Talk about how you sort of trans how that transition was for you. Uh, at first, it was different because you know I'm used to playing with uh, everybody from Blacklick, but uh, as the season went on, we've got to know each other a lot better and. Now, since we have a season uh, together, it's a lot easier to get stuff done. What's going to make this team fun and exciting to watch this year? 
uh, our offense should be a lot better than last year. Um, our passing game should be better, too. So look forward to that. All right, Gina, thanks so much. Yep. All right, we're going to talk to uh, Clint Safko now. He's part of the offensive line, and one of the things I want to get to know about the offensive line is uh, what's the makeup of it like this year? Because obviously without an offensive line, things sort of fall apart. You guys are the main cogs and main anchors for the offense. Talk to me a little bit about how uh, you guys are sort of ready for the season. Yeah, well, we got a lot of work in the off season, a lot of work in the summer. Got a lot of work from uh, Coach Rich and stuff like that. And we got names like A.J. Villa and uh, Braxton Jelly should should do very well this year. Again, a three-game winning streak to end the season. That's pretty prolific, especially for a team of, you know, two schools combined in their first season. How does that sort of set a tone for this year? Well, it sets a good tone. We just got to remember it but also kind of forget it and just focus on this year and try to finish just as good as we did last year. So you worked out the kinks last year as part of the, you know, with a new team. You don't know what to expect. Now that you sort of have your footing, you know your identity, how were you guys able to sort of grow on that this year? Well, it was nice. We got to learn everybody and we should know everybody by this time and we should just get into the season and do real well. All right, Clint, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Clint Safko, the offensive line for the United Valley Lions. And uh, it's going to be exciting watching them on the field again this year. Uh, they can only go up from here and it's going to be really exciting to see how they uh, come, come on the field this year and uh, take on their opponents. So if you can, stop out, see the United Valley Lions, cheer them on as we get into the heat of the uh, football season. For Braden, for Isaac, for Gino, and for Clint, my name is Jake Slobodnik for Renda Digital TV and our United Valley preview brought to you by Luther Ford and Homer City. Proud to bring you Luther Ford Coach's Corner every Saturday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on WDAD and WDADradio.com.